Hey guys, last week I put out a little challenge to you all to see if we can get to 100 likes for that door skin video. And we got pretty darn close. And for those of you who hit the like button, I'm not going to disappoint you guys. We are going to do that video in preparing your metal panels for epoxy primer. Welcome to Envision Prototypes. I'm Nick. So today in front of me, I've got the two door skins, the trunk structure, the trunk lid, and the two door shells, the actual structural shells off to your right there. And we're going to do all the inside surfaces and prepare them for epoxy primer. What I'm gonna do first is take all the panels and blow them off. And we're gonna use a special tool today. This is a Binks Model 190 blow gun. This is older than I am. My dad purchased this when he started out in the business and it's actually outlasted every single blow gun, literally, that we've purchased since then. This thing's a gem. Then we're gonna take and wash all the panels with a degreaser. We don't wanna start sanding these panels and push that dirt into the, into the metal because otherwise the epoxy primer will not stick. It'll just peel right off after it cures. It's a scary sight and it's not something you want to be dealing with because then you'll have to sandblast everything or just get rid of all that epoxy primer that you just put on. It's a waste of time and a waste of money. After we take and wash everything, then we'll start sanding all the panels, all the crevices, everything. Get them all ready, then wash everything again. Make sure the rag comes out perfectly clean every time we wash the panels. Now, if we shot all these panels in here, there'd be a bunch of overspray over everything and somebody would have a conniption. So I'm going to only shoot one panel, the underside of the trunk lid, just to show you how it goes on and how to apply your primer. And then everything else we'll do next door later on. Let's get started. You always want to make sure your hands are protected when you're using degreasers. All right, so we're going to start at one end and work our way down. I'm going to show you how much oil comes off on these pan off of these panels. Look at that, all that black. That's residue, that's oil, that's grit. All that has to come off. So we're going to keep washing these panels until it comes out perfectly clean. Got to make sure we get up underneath that hem there. And just systematically wash the panel. And it's going to take more than a few minutes and a few rags to get through all this. Look at that. Your paint will never stick to that. So we'll just keep turning the rag. I find paper towels or those wipes sometimes catch on the edge and leaves a lot of lint, which shows up later. And you don't want that. Nice cotton rag. Does a good job. Okay, we're getting better, but it's still dirty. So you'll see how much. And it's getting smoother and more slippery now as I'm wiping this off. Now you do have to watch the corners of the metal on your gloves because you don't want to catch and rip the glove or your hand open. Oh, we're much better now, look at that. So, turn the rag again. Let's see what comes off this last time. What is this, three, four times, five times? Doesn't matter, as long as the rag comes off clean, then you're done. At that point, you can start sanding. Just when we thought we were done, there's still more coming off. That's about it. So I'm gonna switch over to fresh rag in a few minutes after we get through everything and just follow up with a fresh rag and make sure that we are perfectly clean. Here's a helpful hint. If you use a dark colored rag, you won't see the dirt coming off. But for the initial wash, it doesn't really matter. Just keep washing until it comes off clean. You can see the dirt on here right away anyway. So everything's been welded, prepped. Everything's been ground and smoothed out. Nobody's ever gonna see this in here, but until we get it covered up, it still has to look nice. It's truly amazing. I don't know if you guys can see it. That's all oil and grease. 
you gotta make sure you keep turning the rag, because otherwise you just keep rubbing the grease into itself. All the coatings removed from these panels, they're gonna start oxidizing if it's too humid. That's why we never spray when it's humid. Let the humidity go down and then go ahead and shoot these panels. Okay, um, what I'm gonna do is get the door structures up here, wash them out. We've got racks set up for all this, so we can hang these up properly, but just for now, while I'm at it, I'm gonna wash everything in this area here. And make sure you're working in a well-ventilated area. Get the exhaust fans running up on the roof there so you can't really hear them, or, but it's pushing fresh air through this area. Get a fresh rag. You don't want to use large rags because you end up, you know, wasting them otherwise. Just tear off small chunks, and uh, that way you can just dispose of it when it's done. Look at that! It washed it so many times, and it still comes out. So we're going to keep washing until it's perfectly clean. And that's it guys, look at that. Nothing on the rag now. I'm gonna go through and finish off all the rest and then we'll start sanding that panel. I set the orbital up for the dual action sander with some 80 grit sandpaper and we're just gonna pass over the panel and start sanding everything. Those areas there, we'll have to do it all by hand, at least the corners and crevices because you can't get in with a tool like this. So there's some manual work and then some power work. Okay, you need to make sure that the surface is really scuffed up well, that you have nice um, a means of adhering the, the epoxy primer to the panel. So there you go. You see all those fine scratches? That's what we need to for the primer to adhere to the panel properly. So now we're going to do the sides through here by hand because you can't get the sander in there. Again, it's no sense wasting a whole sheet of paper. Uh-oh. I'll have to change gloves in a moment because you don't want to work with your bare hands because all that time you spent washing, you don't want to introduce any oils from your hands into the panel. So I got a rip in my glove, I have to change that out. So what we want to do is just tear the paper into say four small pieces. Then you kind of just go through one sheet instead of wrinkling up the whole thing. Let's change gloves. So with new gloves, go ahead and start Sanding everything up. You want to make sure that you get in and all the edges, all the perimeter flanges. You don't need rust bleeding out of your panels later on. Get up underneath, you double up the paper, make it a bit thicker, and slide it through. You need the primer to stick everywhere. Okay, as much as I love using the orbital for the dual action sander, a lot of times you just have to use manual labor. Your paper should be clean when you're sanding. In other words, you shouldn't see any black stuff on the sandpaper. Thank you. 
When I learned to do body work, these are all the jobs I got when I first started out. All these little corners and crevices, that was my job to sand them out. Now, I was only six years old, but uh, <laughs> you gotta start somewhere, right? Nothing wrong with over sanding either. Unless, of course, you sand through the metal. Then you know you've gone too far. Okay, so that's that. Put this aside for now. Get this up here. And if your sandpaper starts getting dull, you gotta start keep flipping it around, making sure that you're using a very core or the coarseness of the sandpaper. It has to do its job, right? Okay, so with everything sanded and a new set of gloves that are needed, now we can go ahead and wash everything again. Probably blow things off just to get rid of any sanding residue and then we'll start washing. Just give you guys a close up of this Binks 190, it's an antique. <laughs> uh, we had to modify the end because we had to do something somewhere, I forget what it was, but we put a grease fitting into the end here threaded it in, took the ball out, and it gives us the pressure we need at close range, but we can also clip on an attachment and blow down further and say blow out a rocker panel if you're doing some work on it and get rid of any garbage that's in there or any hard to reach places. Okay, get another rag. This time, I'll wash everything for the final time. Washing away any residue. Get all the little joints and crevices. Like I'd love to shoot everything in here at one time, but you don't want to overspray over everything. And we're set up next door. So just for today's video, we're gonna do just a trunk lid here. Okay. I'll go through with a white rag and make sure we're good. Now for the white rag test. It doesn't feel as smooth as it did earlier. And that's because we roughed it up with some 80 grit. So, see, a little bit more dirt coming off. So we'll just flip it around, get a clean spot, and do it again. And a little better. One more time. And I'd say that's it, we're done. At least that panel. Now we gotta do all the rest. Actually, yeah, let's wash it one more time. And then when we move all the panels next door, we'll do it once again, but, but, <laughs> you can never wash it too many times. And we're done, that's it. With everything washed, I'm gonna take the door skins, the door structures, and the trunk structure and move it out of the way next door. I don't wanna get overspray onto the inside of surfaces. We spent so much time washing them and sanding them. We'll have to sand them again otherwise because the primer won't stick to that dry spray. 
So we'll move them next door and I'll just focus on the trunk skin itself. With the gun load of the epoxy primer, now we can go ahead and start spraying these panels out. Uh, when it comes to spray patterns and all that stuff, uh, that's a whole nother video in itself. Setting up your gun, that's we can do a whole nother video in terms of that. Uh, it's quite a detailed uh, explanation and we're not going to get into that today. Uh, right now, we're just going to spray this piece out and walk away. And before you guys go ahead and spray anything with epoxy primers, with the two part, the hardener and the, and the primer, make sure you wear the proper PPE gear. I'm going to stand upwind from this. You can see the, the haze from the overspray kind of in the air there. So what I did was I hit all the perimeter seams first, all the hems to make sure I got the proper amount of primer up underneath that where the skin rolls over, where the hem rolls over. And then uh, I hit the main surface area. So now it needs to cure a little bit. Uh, for this particular product, it's about 10 minutes. So go grab a beer, grab a coffee, and uh, just let it set up. And then you go ahead and apply the second coat. So it's been about 10 minutes and it's kind of a semi-luster on the panel. So now we can go ahead and give the second coat. Came out really nice, guys. Oh, that glove bites the dust. All right, so we've got two coats of epoxy primer applied to the underside of the trunk skin, and that's going to be enough to seal things up from corroding later on after we hem it over the structure. Um, so that's it. Uh, it's a not a complicated process, but it's very tedious, and you have to be thorough when you're doing it. You can't be skipping spots or kind of haphazardly sand and wipe and whatever. You got to be thorough, and if you're thorough, you'll have a good result in the end. That's going to be it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. Give us a thumbs up and see you guys next time. Take care.